Hi, we're Summerheart. You're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to an interview with Summerheart. How are you both doing? Fine, thank you. Hot, but Hot. fine. <laughs> You're not enjoying our Toronto weather, I assume. Well, it's all right. We're just not used to it, unfortunately, because we never had any summer in Europe this year. So, yeah, that's the problem. I want to kick things off by talking about my favorite part of interviews, which would have to be the music. You recently shared a single called Nothing Can Stop Us Now, which is this super dreamy, I believe it was titled Summer Wave, which fits the description perfectly. So this new single of yours. So for our viewers at home, tell us a little bit about this new track. Hmm, yeah, that's our newest track. I don't know what to say about it. I've been working on it for quite a while, actually. But yeah, finally we finished it. And yeah, we just wanted to release it before this tour, so. I don't know. I kind of love it and I hate it at the same time. I've why, been working on it, it. So I, I don't know. I've been listening to it every day for <laughs> for the last like four months. So I don't know. What do you think? I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, but I know the song is actually taken off of a forthcoming record, but I can't find much detail on the record as of yet. So tell us a little bit about that. Is it actually finished? Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was finished about one year ago, wow, okay. but then I decided to rewrite the whole record. <laughs> Why was that? I don't know. I, was, I, was, I wasn't happy with it. So I, I just decided to write like 15, 20 new songs and put a new record together. So I've just finished about 10, 12 tracks and yeah, so there will be a new record eventually. <laughs> Do you know when fans might be able to hear some more snippets or some, some new um, material? I'm, I'm not sure. I think this new single that we just released is the first, yeah, that's the first track of the new record, but there will be a couple of more tunes coming out this fall. Nice. Well, going through your Instagram and some of your latest tour photographs, I couldn't help but notice you post these gorgeous photographs of scenery. So does that <laughs> at all have an influence on your songwriting? Is it kind of influential? Uh, both yes and no, I guess. I really like photography. Um, yeah, I don't know why. It's just like something else than music. And in a way, I try to like detach my Instagram from my other social media to just like take photos that I like that has nothing to do with what we do. But obviously, since we're in like Toronto, for example, we take photos of Toronto streets and everything. So yeah, but yeah, it's it's really inspiring just to to take photos. So in a way, it does really. Yeah, it's yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I like photography. <laughs> it's inspiring. So yeah. Aside from your own music, you're keeping really busy with your label. And yeah. excuse my uh, little translation here, but I believe it's how do you say it? Samayarta. Samayarta. Yeah. Samayarta. Okay. Yeah, it's really difficult to pronounce. <laughs> I think I think I'm close. <laughs> you are definitely. Right. Yeah, you're good. I'm gonna take that. <laughs> well, for the label, just tell our viewers a little bit about what's going on at the moment, because I keep seeing tons of updates and looks like an exciting time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, my label is, yeah, it's Summerheart in Swedish, Samayatta. Uh, I kind of release my own music and my friend's music. So that's what we do. We have like loads of great art artists that you should check out. Summer Blood, Death in the Afternoon, Heart Dancer, Lucas Lind, I Am Bear. I mean, goes on and, and there, on. Yeah, it goes on and on and there's more to, to come. So check it out. We have a lovely time. Have you ever found it difficult balancing both writing your own music and then the label on the side? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be? Yeah, because this, all this takes time. I mean, going on tour and being away a lot, it really takes time. And when I come back home, I have like 2,000 unanswered emails. So yeah, that's a bit difficult. But I have a friend that I work with called Frederick, um, who, do, who does like a lot for the label. So. It's all right. I, ha I don't have to think too much about it. You make it work. Yeah, somehow I do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and before heading off to Europe later this year, yeah. you're of course touring North America, which is why you're in Toronto today. Yeah. And you were in New York yesterday. So how's the tour been treating both of you? Well, it's been hot. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> we've been drinking beer and I mean, yeah, just we've been having a good time so far. And yeah, we can't wait to play tonight and to see the, see other cities in North America so I love being on tour it's the best thing in the world well, I read that fashion is also an inspiration of yours it's something that you take a lot of interest in so when it comes to packing for a tour what are some quintessential items you know you're gonna have to pack um yeah <laughs> let's uh, come back to the heat again 
we weren't prepared for this at all. So I, I brought like wool, wool cardigans and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking and really tight trousers, like jeans, stuff like that. So I'm not prepared for this at all, but I always pack loads of like necklaces. I love necklaces and shirts, like different prints and also like lots of, bla lots of black and white. So yeah, I don't know. We try to carry less instruments and more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Although we have no use for, for those <laughs> clothes at the moment, unfortunately. But yeah, we'll see. I saw something on your Facebook page recently. You shared a video by Boat Club and you said how that has to be one of your favorite records of all time. Yeah. So aside from that record, what are some others that also hold that high stance for you? What are some records that both of you will know you'll always love? I think we both uh, agree on like Interpol, Turn on oh, the Bright nice. Light. Yeah, it's probably the best album ever. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, probably The Knife, Silent Shout. Yeah, one of Sweden's best bands. Yep. And I love a couple of Swedish bands like The Tough Alliance, The Embassy, all of their music is just brilliant. Nice. I can't say any record really, but just bands. And yeah, I love a band or an artist called Million Young from from um, Miami, Florida. Yeah, there's so much good music out there, so I don't <laughs> know. True. It's really difficult, but in, I think Interpol, best band ever. Nice. Well, and to wrap everything up, for both of you, what do you say is the best part about being in Summer Heart with one another? <laughs> that's one for you. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just traveling together, we're, we're, we're having so much fun together and yeah, we still like each other, yeah. <laughs> which, is, which is really good, yeah. I'm happy that we do, but seriously, it's, yeah, you're the best bandmate. Oh uh, yeah, you're probably the best. Well, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I know. Well, that wraps everything up. I just want to say thank you so much to you guys for taking the time to have a chat today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. It is our pleasure. And remember, everyone, you can visit us at amusicblogger.com for exclusive interviews and features with your favorite artists. We'll see you next time.